Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the day after Microsoft began the rollout of Windows 11 24H2 last year, I posted a video, which was on the 2nd of October, 24H2 started rolling out on the 1st. I posted a video letting you know why you may not be offered Windows 11 24H2 and why you may not want to install it just yet. And one of the reasons for that was because easy anti-cheat software was causing blue screens of death. And just a quick recap, because I did post that video quite a while back. Microsoft had mentioned it was working with Easy Anti-Cheat on an incompatibility issue between Windows 11 24H2 and the Easy Anti-Cheat app. And in case you don't know what Easy Anti-Cheat is all about, it's basically software which is automatically installed with some games as part of security and cheat prevention measures used in multiplayer online PC games. And then Microsoft had mentioned to safeguard the update experience, as they like to call it, it had applied a compatibility hold on devices running um, the said software. Now, just to let you know, better late than never, Microsoft says it has now resolved the issue. And this was over on its known issues health dashboard page yesterday on the 24th of July, saying, and I'm quoting, the safeguard hold has been removed as of July 24, 2025. Eligible devices without other safeguard holds can now install Windows 11 version 24H2 by heading over to your Windows update and checking for updates, also known as seeking for updates and checking if the update has been offered to your system. And Microsoft carries on to say some devices might display a warning indicating that an incompatible version of Easy Anti-Cheat is installed on the device and that it may be possible to update to it by launching and updating frequently played games. Easy anti-cheat update availability depends on the game publisher according to Microsoft and a confirmation will be requested in order to proceed with the Windows installation. Now Microsoft also says as a side note that, and this is quite important that the issue described is not expected to occur even if older versions of Easy anti-cheat are present on a device unless they are launched as part of a game Microsoft says that Windows is not affected by the inactive presence of these older versions of Easy Anti-Cheat if they are unused. So basically the long and the short of that is that if you were facing that issue, go check for updates. If you do want to upgrade to Windows 11 24H2, because according to Microsoft, that issue has been resolved. So that's just another known issue from a long list of known issues since the start of 24H2 last year that Microsoft has now patched. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.